Hello there, and uh, well, welcome to my second video. In the big leagues now. So, th this is going to be a much shorter video than the last one, because uh, well, in the last one I actually built a whole robot. In this one, I wanted to make a video about a bot that I uh, that, that I threw together just in my own time while I wasn't really feeling up to recording. Also going to be a short video because I've got a cold coming on, and so uh, I don't want to keep talking for too long. But uh, as you can probably tell by the title, this one is going to be a more unusual bot. Because uh, what uh, what I basically decided was um, one of my other bots, uh, Shard here is frankly terrible uh, but the one thing that it's good at is sit and spin defense which is weird given that it's supposed to be a flipper bot but it uh, it's really really good at spinning fast and uh, keeping opponents at bay that way and i wanted to see after uh, you know, after watching um uh, the uh, 2018 series of Bugglebots, I wanted to see if I could make a Melty Brain Spinner. And that's fairly difficult in a game that doesn't yet have accommodation for programming uh, simple controls to do complicated things. So I have to drive it manually. Also, as you may notice, it has to be perfectly balanced. Everything has to be exactly mirrored. Not, not, not mirrored, but yeah, everything has to be rotationally symmetrical. That's the one. Also, uh, yeah, carefully sized uh, polycarbonate casters, as uh, yeah, well, more carefully sized than on the Twitchinator, because it has them at both ends, and I don't want to lift the wheels off the ground. Big old teeth. The uh, the teeth themselves, in total, weigh yeah, four kilos. And uh, the robot itself, aside from those teeth, weighs about a hundred kilos. So it hits hard. And uh, yeah, driving it is difficult. I'm going to lean down closer to the keyboard so you can... This is what driving this robot sounds like. It, uh... It's very difficult to drive accurately. It's all about... It's basically all about trial and error and changing the speed at which I alternately mash W and S. <laughs> but, uh... It, uh... It works reasonably well in battle. So, uh, well, the best thing to do at this point would be to demonstrate that it works well in battle. Because <laughs> you're not here to take my word for things. You're here to watch a uh, Melty Brain Spinner Bot. Or Translational Drift Spinner, to give it its proper name. There's the damage, and really, in this game, and in an arena this big, the main purpose of the translational drift is just to allow me to keep spinning without being counted out. Because <laughs> uh, if you don't, it's if you don't move from your position on the arena floor that you get counted out. Uh, on account of the game, so yeah, on account of the game wanting to be able to count out robots that have stopped working mechanically, <laughs> you know, in kind of future builds of the game and stuff, and in past builds, builds where say wheels could come off, <laughs> without uh, not being able to count out uh, you know, robots that have uh, got wedged on things. This is the only way to cover both in the same system, but it does mean that. <laughs> Sit and spins have a hard time. Unless those sit and spins can move while spinning. 
No, wrong slot. No, select the correct slot. And uh, this one is really just... Uh, this battle is just to demonstrate uh, uh, that it can actually take on a uh, wedge bot. Yes, the AI isn't great at box rushing, but this battle does do the job. So, sorry about the snuffles there. Again, got, got, a, got a call coming on. But, uh, yeah, but this... Well, a Melty Brain is another weird style of robot, kind of like the... Um, yeah, kind, kind of like uh, what I ended up building with the Twitchinator in having a weird selection of priorities. The way that I'd, the way that I'd rank a uh, Melty Brain in... Uh, but the way that I'd rank it in the 8 uh, attribute system is that I'd call it uh, a damage defense mobility bot. And uh, I'll I'll probably yeah, I'll leave um, an exact distribution of points that I reckon applies to it in uh, the description although I didn't have them in mind when I was building the thing and I'll I'll give you one more fight that hopefully should last a bit longer. For, for the sake of... Uh, I'll just feel like three fights is a reasonable length of video for uh, something that's... Uh, not, not really for any specific thing, just three fights seems reasonable. I think... Uh, I think fast. One of the... Uh, <laughs> One of the uh, bots that comes with it. So. Two, one. Oh. Oh. And so, again, I can defend myself just by spinning. Also, fun fact, if I want to change the direction my teeth face, I can actually do that. I just spin up and then I accelerate both wheels the same way. Gyro dance up, and then I can flip over. Very handy uh, if the opponent is uh, something I specifically want or don't want to catch with uh, the uh, leading point of the teeth. Now, uh, so yeah, you, you have now seen a translational drift spinner bot in a game that, well, in a robot building game at all. <laughs> um, bye.